Stop watching pornography. I was addicted to pornography for 10 years. It ruined my life. It altered the way that I thought. It drove me to dig deeper and deeper into the sexual nature of the internet. See, I was born in 97, so I literally was alive before the internet became a massive popular thing. Pornography actually was what made the VHS boom so high. VHS became a massively popular thing because of pornography. Pornography has tainted the way we look at men and women. It drives you farther away from God. Now, I know the majority of people watching will hear me say God and go, okay, I'm out. But listen, listen to the wise words I'm saying. I was addicted for over 10 years, okay? Watching it every day for 10 years. I had to get serious counseling because of how deep in pornography I was. You think it's not a problem, but the effects are lasting and they hurt your brain. It's called a dopamine overdose. Go ahead and do a little Google research about that. So, this comments in regards to pornography. They can't sleep if they can't watch pornography. That's literally the definition of addiction. Look at those who have heroin addiction or drug addiction or alcohol addiction. They can't function unless they have it in their system. That's exactly what you're going through right now. And I used to do that. I used to not be able to sleep until I watched pornography too because it became a routine. It was something that I had to do in order to have my life work properly. And that's not how it's supposed to be. Sex is wrong in the context of pornography. Sexual intercourse with your husband or your wife, your eyes only for them, is what God initiated and put in place in the first place. And just like the rest of the things on earth, Satan decided to screw with it and change the perfect gift that God has. Now, the perfect gift is still there, obviously, but the addiction to pornography is not something I can help you with. I can only give you some you know, direction, and you have to do it yourself with the help of Jesus Christ. But you've got to call upon Jesus Christ and ask for his everlasting mercy and help for you. That's what I did, and it helped me so much. I also had to speak to a counselor and a pastor, too, so I'd suggest.